Okay, I never taught first grade. I was not a first grade teacher when I was in the classroom. Take a guess what grade do you think I taught? Fifth. Fifth grade? It's a good guess. I have a fifth grade son, but I never have taught before. Four. Four? That's a good guess. Third. 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 No. Sixth. 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 Sixth is getting closer. Seventh. Seventh is closer. Eighth. Getting closer. Nine. Almost there. Ten. I taught tenth, eleventh, and twelfth grade. Whoa. But you know, I really like to teach first grade too. Since I took my new job, I have gotten to teach some first grade. And like I said, what comes? I have a first grade daughter. I have a fifth grade son. What's his, what's his name? His name is William. Oh, so I have a Lily and a William, and then I have a Sammy. My Sammy is in pre-K. He's not in kindergarten. He'll be kindergarten next year. So I have three children that are all little like you. So that's fun for me. Um. So as people are still coming in, we're going to talk real quick. You're going to work with a partner today, right? Yeah. Yeah. Do you like working with somebody? I don't. No? Oh, I like to work with somebody. I don't. Um, let's talk about rules when we have a partner to work with. What are some things we do when we have partners? Tell me one thing we do when we have partners. We need to listen to your partner. You do need to listen to your partner. So I'm going to write that on the board so we remember it. We want to listen to our partners. What's something else we do when we work as a buddy, as a pair? Hey, give me something else. Mm -hmm. Listen to them reading. We listen to them reading time. Okay, we've got listen. What's another thing we want to do? Be nice. Be nice. I like the being nice. How do we be nice? We don't say mean words to each other, right? No. Okay, do you hog the pieces? No. Now, what do you need to do with the pieces when we get to them? We want to share. So part of being nice is sharing. We're going to share, okay? So we're going to share the pieces. We're going to be nice to each other. We're going to listen to our partners. Are we going to argue? No. No, we don't want any arguing. And I hope I spelled that right. <laughs> I did not apologize for the film. Um, so, are we ready to do math? Yeah. I love math. Math is my absolute favorite. I love to do math. So, we're going to start today by reading. I'm going to read you a story. Okay? The story we're going to read today is Inch by Inch. <laughs> Here we go. One day, a hungry robin saw an inchworm, green as an emerald, sitting on a twig. He was about to gobble him up. Don't eat me. I'm an inchworm. I'm useful. I measure things. Is that so, said the robin. Then measure my tail. That's easy, said the inchworm. One, two, three, four, five inches. Just think, said the robin, my tail is five inches long. And with the inchworm, he flew to where other birds needed to be measured. The inchworm measured the neck of a flamingo. He measured the toucan's beak. The legs of the heron. The tail of the pheasant and the whole hummingbird. One morning, the nightingale met the inchworm. Measure my song, said the nightingale. But how can I do that, said the inchworm. I measure things, not songs. 
Measure my song or I'll eat you for breakfast, okay. said the nightingale. Then the inchworm had an idea. I'll try, he said. Go ahead and sing. The nightingale sang, and the inchworm measured away. <laughs> he measured and measured. Inch by inch. Until he inched out of sight. That's our book about the inchworm. So, what do you think we're going to be doing today? You think we might be doing inches? No. Okay. Yes. Open up your baggies and each of you and your partner get one piece. Get one piece out. Everybody get one piece. It doesn't matter. You can get one. Get one piece out. On the piece that you picked, what do you see? A worm. A worm. What do you think that is? An inch worm. Today, everybody look at me. Everybody look up here for just a minute. I know there's a lot of people, I've mentioned more people than there are you in here. Look at me for just a minute. Today, we are going to measure using our inch worms. Okay? What do you think we should measure? What should we measure? A paper? We could measure paper. What do you think we should measure? A desk? We could measure a desk. What, do you, what else should we measure? What do you think we should measure? A chair? What do you think we should measure? You could measure, you could measure your book. What else could we measure? What could we measure? A pen, we could measure our pencil. One more thing. What could we measure? Your owl. You could measure my owl. Why would you pick my owl? What was in our story that we read about? What were we measuring? Animals. What kind of animals? Birds. birds. We measured birds. What's my owl? A bird. So believe it or not, we're not going to measure my owl, but we are going to measure birds today. So what I have for you is I've got a folder that has some pictures in it. Who is this? Flamingo. And let's read what it says at the top. It says, how? Read it with me. Long is my neck. So what are we going to read on the flamingo? Or we're going to measure on the flamingo? Neck. His neck. Where does his neck? Right there. Is this his neck? No. Oh, this is his neck? No. Is this his neck? Yes. Okay, so we're going to measure the flamingo's neck. Who is this? Bird. Bird. What bird? Do you remember from the story? No. Don't remember? This is Mr. Toucan. <laughs> Mr. Toucan. Okay, and it says, How long is my beak? So we're going to measure his beak. Is this his beak? No. No. Is this his beak? No. Is this his beak? Yes. Yes. So we're going to measure Mr. Toucan's beak. Okay. Who knows who this is from the story? How? Howard? Here's his name right here if you can sound it out. Heron. Heron. This is Mr. Heron. It says, How long are my legs? So what are we going to measure on Mr. Heron? His legs. Is this his legs? No. no. Is this his legs? No. Yes. Okay. Alright. What's this one? Parrot. Oh, that's a hard word. Close. Pheasant. Pheasant. Okay. How long is my tail? Tail. Is this his tail? No. This is tail. Yes. Yes. All right. So we're going to measure Mr. Pheasant's tail. What this one? Hummingbird. Hummingbird. Okay. How long am I? So we're going to measure part of the hummingbird or the whole hummingbird? The oh. whole hummingbird. Can you guys do that? No. Yes. yes, you can. You can, you can. You are smart people. All right, last one. What's this? Robin. Robin. How long is my tail? tail. It's 
So we're going to measure this part up here? No. no. no this part here? No. This part back here? No. Yes. Yes, because we're measuring his tail. tail. So that is what you and your partner are going to do for me today. And then you're going to have a little piece of directions. Okay? Number one, let me read your directions. Can you put your listening ears really hard? Because I know you probably have already eaten lunch, haven't you? It's hard to pay attention after lunch. All right, here we go. Number one says use the inchworms to measure each of your birds, like we just talked about. On the picture, you're going to do two things for me. Number one, you're going to write your answer in here. And I want you to show me how you got your picture. So if you use, say, a bunch of inchworms, I want you to draw what your inchworms look like on the picture. Can you do that for me? So you're going to write a number and do what? Draw the picture. Now how many of you are working together in most places? Two. I want one of you to write the number and one of you to draw the picture. And then on the next one, what do you think I want you to do? Do the same. Do the same. Switch. So whoever did the number on this one is going to draw the picture on this one. Whoever drew the picture on this one is going to do the number on this one. Okay, so we're going to try to play that way. You both get turned. So you guys are just going to be really creative. Okay? You can figure it out. You can work it out. You're very smart first graders. That's the first thing. Then you have two questions. Listen real careful. Question number two. How many total inchworms would I need to measure the two can feet? the heron's leg, and the flamingo's neck. Write an equation to show your work. That's what I wanted to ask you. What is an equation? Do you know what an equation looks like? No. No, that's not a word we know. That's why I wanted to read it to you before we started. Let me put a problem up here. That's an equation. It's a math problem. Okay? There's one thing an equation has to have. And it's right there. What is that? An equal sign. Every equation has to write has to have an equal sign. So on number two, I'm just wanting you to write a math problem that has a equal sign in it. Can you do that? Yes. Yes? Okay, I also want you to write it side to side. Because sometimes we write math this way too, don't we? Yes. Do you sometimes write it that way? Yes. Do you see an equal sign in this problem? No. Well, we have this bar that kind of acts like it, but it doesn't look like an equal. So I want you to write your problem side to side. I don't want you to write it <coughs> up and down. Okay? Okay. So that's what you're going to do number two. If you get stuck when you get there, I'll help you out. Number three says, how much longer is the pheasant's tail than the robin's tail? Write an equation to show your work. So what is an equation again? A math problem. A math problem. To show me your work. And that's what you're going to do for me today. Are we ready? Yes. Ready to start? Yes. Okay, so I'm going to give you a folder. And your folder has in it all your pictures of your birds plus your directions. Okay, so here we go. Here's your folder. And you may get your birds out. And one at a time, you and your partner may start measuring and drawing pictures of your birds. So you are ready to go. Go across her. Whoever your reading partner is. Or you usually work across or sideways? Across. Across. Work across. There you go. You're ready. Get started.
Can you show me how you did your inchworms for the pheasant? It is very long, isn't it? Did we reach the end yet? How many more do we need? One more? Here, get you another one. Very nice. Okay, don't forget to write your number in your blank. Very good. Okay, how did we get eight inch words for Mr. Hummingbird? Well, okay, can you show me how? So, okay. So you're measuring all his pieces. Okay, let me ask you a question. What's your name? Christian. Christian. If I ask Mr. Christian to, to stand up and me measure how tall he is, do I measure his arms and his do I measure his arms or just from his feet to his head? Feet to his head. So on a bird, if I'm gonna measure how long it is, do I measure his wings? No. You just measure from his head to his tail. How are we doing over here? Are we doing good? Are we working good? Okay, excellent. So we're working through measuring still? Okay, y'all are doing great. Are you all done? Can we see? All right, let's put all your birds out. Okay, we have a flamingo. And we have Mr. Toucan. And we have the pheasant. Oh, not, not the pheasant, Mr. Heron. Here's Mr. Pheasant. And wow, these are a lot of pictures. And Miss Hummingbird and Miss Robin. Okay, so you are ready for question number two. Let's read question number two. How many total inchworms would I need if I measure two cans big? Where's Mr. Toucan? Where is he? There he is. Let's pull him out. We need the toucan and the heron's legs. Where's the heron? I pull him out, and the flamingo's neck. Where's the flamingo? There he is. Okay, so do we need these three to work this problem? No. Nope. So we're going to stack these and put them up for a minute. And so what it's asking is if I'm going to work with these three, and I want to measure them all, how many total inchworms would I need? And that's where you're going to figure that out. So talk to each other about it. See if you can figure that out for me. How many total inchworms? How many would have to be in your Ziploc bag for you to be able to do that? All right, are we done measuring? Yep. That, that's what you just did. Number one is what you just did. Okay, let's read it together. Total inch worms. Okay, pause there for a minute. Find me the toucan. Where's your toucan? Okay, let's put all the pieces back in the back because you're actually done with those for now. Find Mr. Toucan. Where is he? There he is. Okay, let's pull him out. Okay, well, we got to keep reading. The toucan's beak. Heron. Oh, find Mr. Heron. Where is he? Okay, put him over here, Mr. Toucan. Okay, keep going. And the flamingo's neck. Okay, find Mr. Flamingo. Okay, so if I'm going to measure all three of those, how many total inchworms would have to be in my bag if I'm not going to use them over again? And then write an equation to show me that. I'll let you work. Y'all are trucking on. How are we doing over here? Whoop. Uh, we're done. Okay, let me see. Whoop, I just caught you with my owl. All right, I think you're done with number one. Let's look at number two. 
All right, number two. And we're going to work on Why don't you all four listen to me? Now let's read it together. How many total inchworms would I need to measure the two cans big? Oh, let's pause. Find me your two can. You find your two can. You find your two can. Find a two can. And give it to your partner. Find your two can and hand it to your partner. Oh, have we lost our toucan? Oh, he's already got it. Okay, so we need the toucan. So we'll set him aside. The toucan's beak. The heron's legs. Okay, find your heron. Put him over the toucan. Put him with your toucan. And the flamingo's neck. So put Mr. Flamingo. Okay, so those are the only three you need. And let's say I gave you a bag with just enough inch burden to measure how many total there were. How many inch worms would you need? That's what I'm asking, and then you write an equation right here for me. So how many total inchworms are we going to need to measure these three? Figure that out. Think about it. Okay, how did you get six? I can't read this. He keeps making me laugh. Okay, well, don't be silly. How do we get six? Because three and three would be six plus four would be ten. No. You know what? That is a very good equation. Would you do something for me? You said one thing you don't have written down. Where did six come from? Three. three, and three. Okay, so could you write that over here for me and show me the three and the three also? You just, what did you, three? Where did six come from? Good. Plus, what did you tell me? Uh-huh. And what does that equal? Three plus three plus, okay. So what do you need between there? We need to squeeze in the middle. She got that one. Good. I and so, how many total do I need? Good. Right. You are exactly. Actually, she's right. Okay. She's right. Okay, we need you to. Know. Okay, so now, how much longer is the pheasant's tail than the robin's tail? See if we can figure that out for me. Help her out. Find the pheasant and the robin. And how are we doing over here? Okay, wait a minute. Let's see, we've got measures. Okay, can you put those back in the bag for me? You're ready to answer number two. How many total inchworms am I gonna need if I'm gonna measure those three things? Can you find those three birds? Find them in your picture. Miss Mayfield. I'll be right there because I got another question for you. Where's my clock? How long? Okay, so find those three and get me an equation. Oh, are we writing equations? How are we doing? How did you get eight? We just added with, with these. So we just got this and we added. Okay, well that's for this one. These are different birds. You need the toucan, the heron, and the flamingo for that one. Can you find those three birds for this one for me? And then we'll talk about this one in a second. Work on number two for me again. All right, ladies, are we finished? Yes. Let me see your work. Let me see it. Let me see it. Where'd you write down your equation? Did you write down your equation on number two? Write down your equation right here. But do we do it on the paper? Do it on the paper. Oh. Eight, eight, we together? Yes, how many do you need? How many did you need on this one to do those three birds? Eight. How do you know that? We counted the worms. Okay, so can you write in a, a problem to show me what counting the worms would look like? Oh, wait, how many were on this one? Three. How many were on this one? Two. How many were on this one? Um, three. Okay, so how do we get eight? Three, two, three. Okay, what are you doing to those? Are you going to add them or subtract them? Add. Okay, so how would we add them? Miss Lily, how would I add those? We would, would count them and add, add some more. We're going to add, so we're going to put three. Right here? Uh -huh, right down to three plus and then what are we going to add from this one two okay and then what are we going to add uh, oh we got to add one more oh 
Do I add plus? Mm-hmm. And how much are we going to add? Three. And what does that equal? Eight. Very nice. So that's an equation. Okay, now what does this question ask me to do? How much longer is the pheasant's tail than the robin's tail? Okay, so can you find the pheasant and the robin and figure out how much longer one is? Uh, do we have an equation to add? How did you get 11? Can you find those three birds for me? Where are those three birds? Find those three birds for me. Find their pictures. Okay, boys and girls, I want you to come back with me. Look at me, please. Let's come back in. Three, two, one. Okay, I need you to do something for me. I need you to pause, and I want all your interpolations in your Ziploc bag. All of them in the Ziploc bag. All of them in the Ziploc bag. Work together with your partner. Get them all ziploc up. Thank you, thank you. All zip blocked. Did we get them? Okay, the next thing I need you to do is I want all of your birds stacked together in front of you because we're going to talk about question two and three because I think you're struggling just a little bit, so we're going to work together. Thank you. Up oh, here's two more inch worms to jump in that bag. Thank you so much. And that had to be zipped. Perfect. One more bag. Thank you, sir. All right, so how did we like measuring? Great. Great? Did you like measuring with the inchworms? You did a very good job measuring with your inchworms. You clipped them together very nice. I was very proud of you. That was a very good job. Question two and three were kind of hard, and I was, I wasn't sure to put them on there, but you know, I think if we work together, Maybe we can figure them out real quick. Can we do that? What do you think? Yeah. Can we work together? Yes? All right, so everybody's going to have to wake up and look at me. All right, the first bird you need to find is your toucan. Can everybody find your toucan? Find Mr. Toucan. Pull him out of your folder. Put him on your desk. Find Mr. Toucan and put him on your desk. All right, after you find Mr. Toucan, can you find Mr. Heron? Find Mr. Heron. Put him on your desk. That's him right there. Mr. Heron, put him beside Mr. Toucan. And then find Miss Flamingo and pull her out too, those three. All right, now. Put your everything else in your folder and close it up. Close that folder up. Close it up. Close it up. Okay. All right, everybody back up here in three, two, one. Okay, let's say that I'm going to give you a bag of pieces. And now I'm going to put enough in here where you can measure those three birds without having to use a piece twice. How many would you need? How many would you need to measure them? Look at them real, thing, real quick. Look at your three birds. We have Mr. Toucan. Now I've set the pin down. There it is. Mr. Toucan, Mr. Heron, and Miss Flamingo. many do you think I would need? Tell me, how many? Three. What would I need three to measure? Um, eight, eight. To measure which one? Okay, he had three inch worms for his heron. How many
many other people had three inchworms for their heron? Raise your hand. How many other people measured three for their heron? Three? Three? Very good. Okay, put your hands down. Awesome. Three for the heron. How many am I going to need for Miss Flamingo? How many do I need for Miss Flamingo? How many? Three. You got three for Miss Flamingo's neck. Did anybody get something different for Miss Flamingo's neck? What'd you get for Miss Flamingo's neck? Four. What'd you guys get for Miss Flamingo's neck? Four. How many did you get for Miss Flamingo's neck? Three. three. Some of you got three, some of you got four. You know what? They're both okay because we were kind of estimating. So I'm going to put the three. You could also have a four there. Either one's okay. What about for Mr. Toucan? How long is Mr. Toucan's beak? What'd you get for Mr. Toucan's beak? You got two? How many did you get for Mr. Toucan's beak? How many? Y'all got three? How many did you get for Mr. Toucan's beak? How many for Mr. Toucan's beak? Two. two? How many? Two. two? All right, lots of twos. We're going to go with two. All right. How many total inchworms am I going to need? What am I going to have to do? <gasps> what am I going to have to do? Um, count them, okay. So how many total is that? Two. Two for this one. Then how many? Which would make how many? Say it again. Five. Why five? So you said two plus three is five. Okay. Plus three is how many? Eight. Is how many? Eight. Eight is five plus three eight. Y'all agree with her? Yes. Yes. So could I put that this equals eight? Is that fair? Yes. yes. So how many inchworms would I need total? Eight. Eight, eight inchworms. Does everybody agree with that? Yes. Yes. That's tricky, isn't it? How many of you have added three numbers at a time before? We've been doing that? Good. Fabulous. Okay, let's go to the next one. Where's my clock? Um, we're cooking on time. All right, how much longer is the pheasant's tail than the robin's tail? So what two birds do we need out? Pheasant and... Robin. robin. Find those two. Pheasant and Robin. Get those out. Find the pheasant and the robin. Put everything else up. Pheasant and Robin. Put everything else up in the folder. Pheasant and Robin. Put everything else up. Very nice. Pheasant and Robin. Okay. All right, my question is, everybody back up here. Three, two, one. Back listening. My question is, how much longer is the pheasant's tail than the robin's tail? Yes, ma'am. Okay, what's five? Okay, so you have your pheasant as five, and I probably should do a better A. Okay, your pheasant is five. What about the robin? Can you tell me how much the robin was? How much is your robin? have I not talked to you today? How long is your robin? Three? How much was your robin take? Three? How much was your robin take? Three? How much was your robin tail? Oh, flip it. Let's see. Flip it over to the robin. How much? Three. Three? Okay. How much was your robin tail? Three. Three? How much was your robin tail? Three. How much was yours? Two. Two? Okay. So let the three is one, two. That's okay. So the robin... partner wants you to whisper what you think the answer is. How much more is the pheasant arm? Whisper to your neighbor. Whisper to your neighbor. How much more? How much more? Okay, and you are dying to tell me the answer. So how much more? Two. Why two? Because if there's five 
Okay, so what equation could I write? What does takeaway mean up here? What's the what symbol do I write? Minus. Subtraction minus 5 minus 3. What else do we have to have for an equation? Equals. Equals how much? Two. Two. Very good. How many of you said two? Raise your hand. Give yourself a pat on the back. Excellent work. You had a two. Okay, so I have one more question and we're all done. Because you guys have worked really hard. Put all your birdies up. I have a question. Put them all in the folder. What if I gave you a gummy worm? You gotta earn the you gotta earn the gummy worms. So you gotta answer a question for me. So I want you to think really hard. Don't shout it out. Don't raise your hand. I want you to think in your head. If I were measuring Mr. Pheasant, did he have a really long tail? No. Mr. Yes. Pheasant? Oh come on, Mr. Pheasant had a long tail. Let me, I'm gonna borrow your Mr. Pheasant. Is that okay? No. Fabulous. Let's find Mr. Pheasant. Here he is. Here's my picture, of Mr. Pheasant. If I'm going to measure Mr. Pheasant, would it take me more inch worm, gummy worms than inch worms, or shh, don't don't say it, or more inch worms than gummy worms? I'm so thinking your head. Don't raise your hand, but think, think, think your head. More gummy worms, or more inch worms? Which is it going to take more of? Think real hard. Y'all are just dying to talk to me. Talk to you. Whisper to your partner which one you think is going to take more. Whisper. Which one's going to take more? Is it going to take more gummies or more inch worms? Whisper to your partner. Talk to your partner about it. Make sure you agree. Oh, this is so exciting. Okay. If you think it's going to take more gummy worms, stand up. Do you think it's more gummies? Stand up. Do you think it's going to take more gummies to measure his tail? If you now, if you think it's going to take more inchworms, touch your head. Ah, oh, see, y'all stood up. You thought it was going to touch your head. If you think it's going to take more inchworms, all right, let's find out. We already know it's five inchworms, right? Yes. That's how many gummies it is. One plus a little bit. Oh, about one and a half. Why did it take fewer gummies? Why? Why did that happen? What's up with that? Whisper to your neighbor. Why did it take more gummies? Why did it take more gummies? Or more inch worms? Whisper to your neighbor. Okay, tell me. Why did it take more inch worms than gummy worms? Why? Which one's longer? So it took more or less? <coughs> it's bigger, so it took less of them. That is very smart to be able to figure out. You know when you're really supposed to learn that? Second grade. That's not something we actually talk about until second grade. And you guys already figured it out. I knew you guys were smart. And I really, there they are, I really appreciate you guys working so hard for me today. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to leave your folders. I'm going to let your teacher keep those. Those are your first and a half. But I did bring each one of you some gummy worms. So here's your gummy worms for working so hard for me. You guys got a fabulous job. <laughs> Thank you for being so patient. You guys did a fabulous job. Yep, you can eat them.
Yeah. 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 You're trying to measure with them. You just can eat them. Uh, okay. I'm going to make you measure with these gummy worms. All right, guys. Thank you so much. I appreciate it. Y'all be good this afternoon. All right, so wait, 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 one question real quick. What did we do today? Measure. Measure with what? We measured birds using? Inchworms. Inchworms. And we read a great book? Yes. yes. Do you feel like you could measure anything now? Yes. Uh, uh, at the beginning of class, some of you said you were going to measure. We could measure. What are some things you said we could yes. measure? Yes. yes. Could you measure a desk now using my inchworms? Yes. yes. What else could we measure? What else? A chair. A chair. Could you measure a chair now if you had to? Yes. yes. What else? Oh, the ruler, the desk. What else? I remember what you said we could measure. What did you say we could measure? A pencil. Could you measure a pencil? Yes. And you said we could measure our what? No, what else? What else? A book. Could you measure a book now? Thank you, guys. You did a really good job. I appreciate you working so hard today. Thank you. Let's give this guy feel a good thinking whoosh. Oh, oh, oh.